guys welcome 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 to audrey's reading area and a big shout out to my grandbabies korea sana david the third and kaden love you guys love you mucho don't forget to go to youtube search for audrey's reading area yes and subscribe for me please just click on that subscribe button all right, all right, all right. Alexa, what time is Audrey's reading area? Alexa, what time is Audrey's reading area? Audrey reads in her area live at five and please subscribe. L I V E. That spells live and we're going to be live at five. Audrey's reading area live at five. On this inspirational Friday, I have a very interesting story that I'm going to read to you. Um, I was just scrolling through this book, the guidepost. It's an old one, 2020. And, um, yeah. And I will be, um, reading this one, six ways to cope with caregiver anger. It was interesting to me because I know a lot of, uh, people who are caring for their family members and yeah it's it's very difficult for a lot of people to um to take care of their family members and not feel a little resentment not feel angry so i just found this for some reason it just pulled right up just popped right up so i am going to read this for you six ways to cope with caregiver anger. And yes, even if you are a child, you might be dealing with this too because you might have to take care of your parent or your sibling. So just listen up. Ask how they feel. Many feel, let me show this again. Many feel, many family caregivers mention their stress and sadness but not the resentment, the impatience, and anger that can build up. Caregivers tend to do what Caroline Conklin did, hide the, the, and this is referring to a story by Caroline Conklin in Seattle, Washington. What if one day it says, my husband fell twice in six months. I should have been sympathetic. Instead, I was angry. So this is in reference to that story. And I decided not to read that story because it's quite long, but you can already tell from that title what was up in there. So this is by Carolyn Conklin. So hide the feelings they think are negative. The fact is most caregivers experience a wide range of emotions, all of which are valid and natural. Burying emotions takes a toll on your mental and physical well-being. <clears throat> Research by Home Inside Senior Care shows that caregivers who hide their feelings are more likely to experience fatigue, high blood pressure, difficulty sleeping, and depression. Here are some tips for coping with caregiver anger. Mm -hmm. So you are quite normal in feeling the way that you feel. But here are some tips to cope with it. So forgive yourself. First off, forgive yourself. Who hasn't lost their temper and snapped at their loved one at some point during the caregiving journey? Don't beat yourself up. Give yourself credit for all the times you showed great patience and for the many hours of loving care you provide. Yes. Next thing, get something to eat. <clears throat> if you've been around kids, you know meltdowns tend to happen when a child is hungry, okay? <laughs> low blood sugar can, levels, low blood sugar levels, yes, can impair your ability to cope with caregiving stress. And when I tell you that is no joke, it's not even something that you can help. It is absolutely no joke. It's serious. Listen, I'm going to read it again. Low blood sugar levels can impair your ability to cope with caregiving stress. To help avoid meltdowns on your part or your loved ones, 
When you're caring for a senior family family member, have a healthy snack together. I'm going to advise y'all to do that if you're caring for young children too. You may need to go and eat, get something to eat, grab something up. And then it says, talk it out. Vent to someone outside your family, a pastor, therapist, or non-judgmental friend. Join a local online caregiver support group. That's a good idea because you guys will see that you are not the only one that's going through this. You are not the only one. So if you join groups like that, all of you can vent and all of you can come up with tips on how to handle it. All right, all right. Let it go. Physically releasing your anger can be therapeutic. Excuse yourself and go scream into a pillow or punch the pillow. A strategy for the long term, get more exercise. Physical activity is a well-known stress reducer and mood booster. Yes. Another one is seek solace in your spirituality. Take your troubles to God. Prayer and meditation are great coping mechanisms. And this is for everyone, not just if you're taking care of an elderly person, but in general, if you are stressed, if you are stressed at work, stressed at home, stressed in, with friends, this right here, seek solace in your spirituality. This goes all the way around. Take your troubles to God. Prayer and meditation are great coping mechanisms. Read the Bible or something else you find restorative and inspiring. Oh yeah. Take time off, really. Take time off. You can't draw water from an empty well. You heard that? You can't draw water from an empty well. Anger and impatience often stem from exhaustion. That means like no energy. The empty well means you have no energy left. Yeah. To replenish your energy, do something you enjoy every day. Even 15 minutes here and there will make a difference. And I think it'll make actually make a big difference. Better yet, set up regular respite care. Ask family, friends, or volunteers from your faith community to fill in for you a few hours every week. If you're considering professional respite care, contact Homestead Senior Care at a number, I'm gonna give you the number, 866-996-1085 or homestead.com slash guidepost for a free consultation. And it says for more tips on managing the emotions of caregiving, visit caregiver, caregiverstress.com. Caregiverstress.com. Yes. See, I'm thinking about you all too. I'm thinking about you all too because I know some of you young ones, I know this is a children's channel, so some of you young ones have to take care of your siblings. And so I thought this would be helpful and inspirational to everybody. Because we all got to pitch in sometimes and take care of each other. So, rewind this video, or should I say, start it over, and play it over and over. Play it for people that need to hear it. So, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. I appreciate you listening. Um, please like my videos, and please share my videos, and please go to YouTube. Look for Audrey's Reading Area. Yep, Audrey's Reading Area. All right, all right, all right now. And don't forget to subscribe. You gotta hit that subscribe button. Smash that thing up. All right, all right, all right. Thanks, Mom, for always being here, showing all this love and support. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, everyone, for sharing my videos. And thank every one of you for being here and listening to me read all these fun, exciting, educational, yes, um, <clears throat> inspirational. And what else do I do? Yes, yes, yes multicultural yes thank you thank you thank you for listening and i hope it helps and i also help to encourage you to pick up a book open it up and read on your own so i'll see you again tomorrow monday right monday have a great weekend see you on monday here at audrey's reading area live l-i-v-e live at five here at audrey's reading area